Hi, I'm Heinbach. Good to have you back. In this video, I want to talk a bit about a unit that confused me and that it couldn't get to music when I started out with using test equipment for music creation. The Ithaco Dynatrack 3 Lock-In Amplifier. A locking amplifier is used in many laboratories to take a signal that is completely buried in noise and amplify that and get it readable. Therefore, it uses an amplifier with a ton of gain, a very slim bandpass filter and a tracking frequency. And you can adjust phase relationships so you can really tune to the signal that you're trying to read. In my video on nuclear instrumentation modular, I talk a bit more in detail about the functionality of these machines and I'm gonna link an article in the description. From what I've gathered, Ithaco released the Dynatrack 3 in 1975. When I started out on my test equipment journey earlier this year, this was one of the very first units I bought for 60 euros. And I struggled to get anything interesting out of that because I lacked the knowledge. As I was just looking through my storage, I thought, oh, let's give this a chance and see if I now know how to make this music. And boy, I was quite surprised. The beautiful thing about lock-in amplifiers is that they are bandpass filters. And if you excite a bandpass filter, it will ring. Some ring more than others, this rings less. But nonetheless, you can get some great tones out of that by simply sending it a short trigger signal like this. If you can get the machine to resonate, it will produce bass notes. And that's especially possible if you put time constant and sensitivity all the way up high and go into the maximum signal mode. You might end up with a lot of distortion, but then you dial back and there you find some beautiful percussive tones. The Ithaco shines as an audio processor because it feels like a living ring modulator. Here's what you can do with a simple sign from the WaveTag 185 function generator. If you add the zero suppress function, it will start modulating the signal in a rather beautiful way up until chopping it up into tiny bits. 
Of course, there's a lot to play with, with the different face settings and the different switches in here. You can do all kinds of maths, like cosine functions, sine functions, middling functions. You've got normal net option, and I've no idea what that does technically. And it's hard to describe what it does from the sound because it's all in relation to all these other knobs, such as isolate and ground. I sometimes had great success by taking the reference oscillator out and plugging it into the reference in again, but sometimes this did nothing at all. And the different outputs, the sine output and the cosine output and the A output all sound different. So I feel there's an endless amount of variation in here to process signals. <laughs> The pure physical part of playing this is incredibly fun because these knobs are very well made, they feel satisfying, these switches, everything. You could make a sound pack just from these interface sounds, I feel. It's all just very reactive. This meter is beautiful and yeah, even the light on here is nice. The whole machine is heavy and built not like a tank but maybe like a lightly armored vehicle. What I love most about the Thaco, and that's why I'm keeping it, is that it takes a simple sign and turns it into something interesting. You get this kind of radiophonic workshop kind of sound, which I adore. <laughs>
since this is so varied, I challenged myself to make a track using only the sounds from this.
if you see one of these cheaply, get it. You only need some way to get from BNC to whatever you're using. There are BNC to RCA converters cheaply available. So for all those that don't get the unit, I'm putting up a big sound pack up on my Patreon, including all the stems from the track that I just played. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, do ask in the comments. And more complex stuff is perfectly suited for the subreddit, which has become a test equipment resource, which I absolutely love. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.